I said, let's go ahead and start with our stretch, our warm up for a stretch. So let's open our legs wide open. Toes pointing to the front. Have your ball handy. We are not going to use it yet, but you're going to start inhaling, leaning to one side. That's it. Go. Inhale. Bring the arm as far out, reaching as you can, and switch. Now we are going to add in the squat. Inhale, reach up and back. Bring it to the center, reach to one side. Reach to the other side. Now let's squat. Like shunt squat, pull your knees apart from each other with your hands. Bring your chin in and roll up. Warming up on lower back. Pull from your knees. Pull your knees apart with your hands and roll up. Two more times. One more time. Okay. From here, you're going to bend one leg and sit back. Very gentle warming up. Make sure your body rests on your heels so your knees don't go forward. Sit right underneath your heels. Now add an arm reaching. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One more. Nice. Now you're gonna close your legs gently. We are gonna work your balance. So if you know your balance is easy, make sure you have a chair handy. You're gonna cross your left leg on top of your right one. Sit back in a chair position. So you bring your butt back, body weight on your heels and your arms forward. Reaching with your arms forward, but your back goes down and come up. Doing the same thing, same leg again, inhale. Cross it. Exhale. One more time. Cross the seat back in a chair position, arms reaching forward, and your butt reaches back. You're gonna switch to the other leg. Now right one crosses in front of your left. Sit back, reach it, and bring it up. Inhale. Exhale, reach forward, reach, 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 reach. Arm right, come up. Two more times. One more time. Oops. I like the rain though, huh? Things are still pretty green. Rest. Okay, let's go ahead, grab that tennis ball. First, you're gonna start it by positioning right here in your fascia latte, insertion glutes with your iliotibia band starts right there, right on top of your glute medius. So go ahead, place your booty right there, and roll it. Keep rolling in circles. You should feel some nice stretch, but no painful. Oh, rub it on your glutes. When you find a spot, it's extra tender. Just hold it there for a couple of seconds. Okay, you're gonna stay right there, leaning on the ball. The back leg is bending. The front one with the ball is extended. And from here, you're going to lift the leg and bring it down. Lift the leg and bring it down. Four. Three. Two. One more. And rest. Now come up. Keep that leg relaxed. Grab the ball. And roll in your iliotibia bend. Roll it, roll it. Up. 
and down and circle. One more time. Again, when you find that it's sore spot, spend a couple of seconds extra in that area. Okay, let's go ahead. That leg that you were foam rolling and that we had the ball, you're gonna cross it on top of the other one. So the same leg that you were foam rolling is on top. So mine was my left one. So my right elbow is grabbing it and pressing towards my chest. Keep your chest tall, long. Bring your hands behind you. Bring your legs up, chest tall and long. If you can, hold it right there. If you, that doesn't feel too challenge, you can go underneath your arms and grab the shin and keep that chest tall and press your chest a little deeper towards the leg, towards your knee. Relax it, stretch both legs in front and reach your toes. If you cannot reach your toes, go ahead and use the belt to help you. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So go ahead and grab the ball, place it right there on the upper side of your glutes and your glutes medius. And go ahead and roll the ball. Again, spend some time to try to find that tender spot. And when you find it, stay right there. Bottom leg is extended, top leg is bended. And you're using this leg to help you to put less pressure on the ball or more pressure on the ball. So you control how much body weight you put in that leg. Okay, now go ahead and lift the leg and bring it down and lift the leg. Four, three, two, one more. Nice. Relax it. Lean, keep that leg extended, but relax. Grab the ball and roll it. This is a great way if your bend is too tender to form roll. This is a great way to get some fascia relief. We know being so hard, so painful with a foam roller. You can start with a ball and work into a foam roller. Okay, now that leg that you were foam rolling is gonna cross on top of the other leg. Your chest is tall, your knees wrapping, your elbow is wrapping the knee, pressing towards your chest. Your shoulders are back and down and you tilt on that area. Bring your chest to the front, bring your hands behind you, lift your legs up, stretch your neck glutes, external hip rotators, and you're gonna go ahead and grab the bottom leg if you can. If you want to add a little deeper stretch, depending of how, how hard the first one fell. Try to keep your long back, so no arching. Extend both legs forward and reach your toes. Bend your right one, extend it. Bring your left one, extend it. Okay. 
Okay. Let's go ahead and get hands and knees. Hands and knees. You're going to roll your toes under. And you're going to come up and try to sit on those heels and those toes slightly, not too hard, depending on how tight they are. Go back. Walk back in. Put body weight on those toes. And relax them. From there, we are gonna go to a triangle. So go ahead and push those heels down. Your chest is trying to reach your knees long and tall. Your fingertips are reaching forward. You bend one, you bend another one. And you bend one, and you bend another one. Now keep both extended. Inhale. Walk towards the toes. Exhale, bend the knees and roll up. Come here, reach your hands behind you, bring your shoulders back, your hips forward. Not too deep, especially if you have a lower back pain, or try this in your lower back. Always gentle on hyperextensions. Grab the ball and roll it. One foot. All our lower body is going to be rolling and stretch today. It's going to feel wonderful. Make sure it again, you find a sore spot, spend extra time in it. Okay, go ahead and switch to the other leg. Again, make sure you spend time on the bottom of the foot, in the center of your foot, in the part of the insertion with your arch and your heel. All the fascia in your feet is being massaged. Okay, wonderful. Let's go back here again. Now roll your toes under and over. So put it underneath, bring it up and curl them. One way, another way. And they both stretch very gentle. Two more times. One more time. Okay, let's switch to the other side. One way, the other way. One way, another way. Okay, let's bend it here. We are gonna do that again. Roll your toes under and sit on your heels. Can you feel them looser this time than the first time? Be very gentle. Okay, let's go back in triangle pose again. Oh yeah, big difference, huh? Push one heel and switch. Alternate it. Arms are reaching forward, fingertips are spread and reaching forward. Your chest is pressing down towards your knees. Your eyes are looking at your knees. Now keep both down. Bend the knees. Stay right here. You're gonna come up. You're gonna go in a hip extension. So go ahead, right leg forward, knee on the floor. Your hip is forward. Make sure you're not arching your back. That's just pressing your hip. Shoulders are relaxed. Your left arm goes and crosses in front of your right knee. Inhale. Exhale, right hand goes as far back as I can. Back shunt from the front and to the front if you can. Reach the back leg and bring it towards you. If you know, just keep it down and keep working on that hip extension. Bring it down. Bring your hands on the floor. That right knee 
opens to the side. Let me show you. So you see, I'm open it to the side. So the body weight is going on the outside of your foot and you are sinking your left hip on the floor. If you can, you can get a little lower. Okay, come back up, go back to knees and hands, and go back in the child pose. Arms reaching forward, your forehead is resting on the floor. And try to sit on your heels. Okay, come up. Now left leg goes forward. Again, don't arch your back, don't put pressure on your lower back, just engage the glute, keep pulls forward, reach forward. You should feel a nice gentle stretch on the front of your hip. Right arm, go just in the outside of your left knee. You inhale, exhale, left arm goes back, reaching as far back as you can. If you can, bend the back knee. I'm bringing it towards to you. <sighs> Breathe. Relax it. Bring your hands down on the floor. Trying to sink that hip a little more. Now you're gonna bring your left knee to the side. Left knee reaches to the side. So opens, goes on the outside of your foot and body weight, and your right hip reaches down on the floor. Beautiful hip stretch. Will your tibia band stretch? If you can, bring your hands on the floor. If you know, stay right there. Bring your hands back up. Bring your legs behind you and go back in that child pose. Sitting on your heels, arms reaching forward. Okay, so now we are gonna do on our psoas release. So we are gonna place the ball. So you find your belly button and it's around two fingers to the side and around one finger under. The best way is place it around that area Oh, I find it right away, but move around, move the ball up and down until you find it. You're gonna find, feel like a little tightness spot. That is where your psoas starts. Breathe in there, relax so you're gonna be, I know at the beginning it might feel uncomfortable, but the more you relax, the more you breathe into, it will really, should loosen up pretty quick. Okay, once, if, now you're feeling less painful than when we started, you can go ahead and place all your chest down. If you know, stay right there. From there, ooh, fine. <laughs> you're gonna lift your right leg up and bring your butt down. Make sure you're not bending your knees. Your knee, your legs is extended. You're doing it from your glutes. So what we're looking is to, Release your psoas by activating the antagonist muscles, which in this case is our glutes. Four, three, two, one more time. Nice. Walk your hands back up. Reposition the ball if you need to, if you know, hold it right there. Now what I want you to do is roll very gentle, the ball towards the hip bone, so your iliac crest, so right here, so the hip bone is up in the top and back to that area. So slightly roll it to the side and back to the hip, the psoas spot where you started. Roll it to the side, bring it back in. Roll it to the side, bring it back in. 
four, three, two, now go back to this main area, this area that we started, and we are gonna do the same thing here. If you can, if you're not still right there, you're gonna lift the leg up, press your belly, inhale, expand your belly, press the ball, and engage your glutes at the same time. Four, three, two, one more time. Nice. Woo take that ball out. Nice. Open your arms, relax. Bend the right knee, grab it with your foot, and bring your heel towards your butt. Inhale, exhale, take your knee off the floor if you can. Relax it, inhale. Exhale, go back in the child pose, sit on your heels. Come up on your knees, right leg, the, the same side that you were doing, the psoas release. You're gonna bring the opposite leg forward. So your right leg stays down. If you do the psoas on your right leg, Keep your right leg down, left one goes forward because this is the leg we are stretching. Can you feel it? Can you feel a nice stretch in there? Inhale, exhale, bring the back leg if you can. Breathe, relax your shoulders. Okay, bring it back down. Awesome. Let's do it on the left side. Let's do it on the left side. So go ahead and find a spot around your belly, a couple inches away towards your hip. This one is definitely not as tall as my other one, but there it is. Find it. Breathe and relax. Nice. If, if you can, go ahead and relax. Bring your, all your body weight down. Relax on your chin. Keep the ball right on the spot where you feel the releasing. This side is definitely not sore for me. Okay, now let's lift the leg. We no bending our knee. Just engage your glutes. Exhale. Inhale when you come up, press against the ball with your belly, engage your glutes. Exhale, bring it down. No very high leg, it's just enough to activate your glutes. One more time. Relax it. Go ahead and bring your arms on your body well on your elbows, bending your arms. Shoulders right away from your ears. Breathing. Again, let's bring the leg up. And then make sure you inhale, expand the belly, put body weight, put that pressure with your abs, abdominal muscles towards the ball. At the same time, may your leg comes up and engages your glutes. Take the knee off the floor. Relax it. Now roll it to towards your head, back towards your belly. Roll it away from the belly, roll it towards the belly, back and forth. Releasing all that fascia in your frontal abdominals and your pelvic floor. Nice. Four. Okay. Inhale, exhale, release it. Take it off. 
relax the chest. Bend the left leg. Inhale. Grab the left foot. Bring it towards your heel. So that's your first. The first part is to touch, try to touch your heel with your body. If your knees, you have knee replacement, obviously you're not going to be able to do that deep and don't try to go that deep. But for all healthy knees, this should be a comfortable position. Take your knee off the floor. If you can, while you keep the heel on your butt, Relax it, inhale, press with your arms, exhale, go into child pose. Sit on your heels, your arms are reaching forward. Roll up, walk on your, stay on your knees. This time your right leg is gonna go forward, your left one is gonna be under. So under should be the leg that you were rolling, okay? Okay, so you didn't do the same size than I did. The size that you were rolling should be on the bottom. Inhale, exhale, reach your leg if you can. Bring it down, bring your hands on the floor. Hands directly underneath your shoulders, go in a plank position. Walk baby steps, your legs towards your hands. Stay right here. Relax the upper body now. Your right arm goes towards your left elbow. Your left one goes to your right. And you're hanging in there. Bring your chin in. Relax. Feel the body weight evenly between your toes and your heels. Same body weight on your right and your left. The shoulders are relaxed. Okay, bring your hands down, bend the knees, and roll up one vertebra at a time. Okay, one last one, very quick. Open your legs as wide as you can. Toes pointing forward. Inhale, exhale, bend to the middle. Walk your hands shunted to one side. Keep those toes pointing forward. If you cannot reach the floor, you can place a yoga mat so your upper body can relax. A yoga block. Or anything, or pillow, or anything you have handy. Switch to the other side. Back to the center. If you can, open your legs a tiny bit wider. Your toes are pointing forward. Again, walk your hands to one side. Walk your hands to the other side. Back to the center. Gently walk, heels, toe, heels, toe, heel, toes. Stay right here, bend the knees, roll up. Nice, give me a last deep breath, inhale. Reach to one side and exhale. Inhale, back to the center. Reach up, up, up. Exhale, lean to the other side. Inhale, reach up, and get your glutes, lean it gently back. Exhale, bring your chin up, back to the center, and release. That's all for today. You should feel wonderful by now. All your lower body completely loose up. Thanks, Kat. Thank Good you. Good job. Good job, girls.